Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right. So this morning, our morning reading will be coming from Luke 21 and verse 26. But of course, we know on this week we've been discussing love and we've been examining just why is the world so angry? My God, all right. Jesus told us that in the last days, because iniquity and lawlessness shall abound, he said the love of many is going to wax cold. And again, if you just watch your local news and and, and, and just watch it for the first five minutes, my God, you will see that this world is getting, what, colder and colder, all right? But we are encouraging you to keep your love growing hot, uh, hot, burning strong, my God. We are on a commandment to walk and stay in love, bless God, all right? And the Apostle Paul told us that in the last days, perilous times should come. He said, men could be lovers of themselves and and proud and, and disobedient in parents, unthankful, unholy, without uh, natural affection. He said they're going to be uh, traitors and lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God and all kind of different things. And, and we're seeing that, my God. I don't know about you, but we're definitely seeing that, my God, all right? So let's read uh, Luke 21, verse 26. It says, Men's hearts are failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right. New Living Translation says people will be terrified at what they see coming upon the earth. My Lord, because of the things people are seeing happening in the earth. It says men's hearts are failing them because of fear. They are fearful and they are terrified. My God. And whenever uh, 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 something or someone is afraid, they respond in anger. Even even a dog. If you, you see that dog responding and acting like he's ready to attack, my God, he's afraid. And, and then likewise, it's, it's, it's when you see people angry and, and they're mad and they're frustrated, they're, they're they're fearful. Something is 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 triggering fear on the inside of them. Like my God, uh, uh, health care and food and gas and housing prices and and light bills and and college tuitions and shootings and all the politics going on in there right now and and the racial divide. All these different things have people afraid, and because of the fear, here it, they are angry my lord again you run into a lady say you run into a lady at this store and she's angry and she's upset and she's and she's talking sideways or she gets a, a, a says something smart out of, her, out of her mouth to you it's not that she's uh, angry is she, she she's afraid my god she's thinking about how she's gonna feed her kids my lord and and she's responding to you here in anger and frustration my god all right but I encourage you, stay in love. Stay in love, my God. Again, we're on a commandment this, to walk in love, my God. And you even stay in love and hear this and even be open to, to allowing the Lord to use you to minister to her, my Lord, to, to minister love to her, to comfort her, my God, and encourage her, my Lord, even in her anger, my Lord. So I encourage you, don't you be moved by the fear and and the terror or, or the news that's going on in the earth, my Lord, you keep your eyes on the Lord. You stay focused on him, knowing that because you love him, my God, everything's going to be all right. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and take him on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table to commune with you and one another. And for that, we say thank you. When we take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we do this in remembrance of you. We discern your body right now, and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for all you have done for us. You have made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace, and our complete wholeness was upon you. And we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We take the bread right now, and we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. We take the cup. 
the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless. The righteousness of God without fault, without blame and love. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that all of our sins are forgiven, past, present, future sins, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you this morning. We take the cup. We drink all love it. Thank you, Lord. So again, we encourage you, stay in love, my God. You stay in love. Don't you be out here acting a fool with people. You keep that love coming at all costs. Amen. Amen. Bless God. So let's get our blessing confession on this morning. The blessing of the Lord is upon me. My family is blessed. My marriage is blessed. My children are blessed. My house is blessed. My body is blessed. My mind is blessed. My finances are blessed. My business is blessed. My church is blessed. Everywhere I go, everything I do is blessed. The blessing of the Lord is working for me now. God has made all grace, every favor, and every earthly blessing abound towards me in abundance on today. Amen. Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. We thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us. Father, I shout grace, grace to everyone that's watching right now. I thank you, Father, that every need of every household is met in full. But for abundance and more than enough, and I shout grace, grace to all those who need healing and health and strength in their bodies. Father, I thank you that you'll heal them all. And I speak peace right now to every household, Father. Oh, we thank you, Father, that your peace is abiding in their homes. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. And we thank you for joining us this morning. We pray each and every one of you have a great day on today. Amen. Amen. Love you guys.